everybody, and welcome back to Harp 101. The excerpt that I just played for you is from Tchaikovsky's Waltz of the Flowers Cadenza, one of the most famous cadenzas in harp literature. It is composed almost entirely of arpeggios, which leads us directly into today's topic, how to play arpeggios on the harp. Arpeggios are one of the most important techniques that you can learn when playing the harp, and the nice thing about them is they sound far more complicated than they actually are to play. So, once you learn to play them well, you can wow all your friends on the harp, no trouble at all. So let's get started. Let's start by defining the word arpeggio. An arpeggio is essentially the notes of a chord played one after the other instead of all at once. The primary chord that Tchaikovsky used in his Waltz of the Flowers Cadenza, which I just played for you, is the A dominant 7 chord, which is composed of an A, C sharp, E, and G natural. When played as a chord, those notes will sound like this. However, we can easily turn that into an arpeggio by playing them like this. So you see, an arpeggio is just the same as a chord, but the notes are just played one after the other. When playing an arpeggio, you want to keep in mind the technique things that we discussed in our last lesson, so if you didn't see that one, you may want to go ahead and skip back now and watch it. But as a quick refresher, remember, keep your thumb up high and keep your other fingers pointed downwards towards the soundboard. When you place your hand on the string, have your fingers gently curled outwards. And when you pluck, pluck with the side of the tip of your finger, closing your thumb all the way onto your second finger and closing your other fingers all the way into your palm. Let's start by just playing a basic three finger arpeggio using your thumb, second finger, and third finger. So go ahead and place your third finger on middle C your second finger on the E above that, and your thumb on the G above that. Now you're all ready to play a C major arpeggio. One of the most important things to remember when playing an arpeggio is that you want your fourth and your fifth fingers to follow along with your third finger. In other words, you don't want them to be, stay tensed up in your palm like this, but you also don't want them to go flailing off on their own as if they're just going to fly away. Instead, you want them to follow right along with your third finger as it plays. Let me illustrate that on the string for you. my fourth and fifth finger just follow along gently with my third finger, that's how you want it to be. I had one teacher who described playing an arpeggio saying that it should be like gathering a bouquet of flowers. This helped me to remember three things. One, that an arpeggio should be a smooth, graceful motion. Two, that we should close our fingers all the way when playing. And three, that we should have a slight raising motion as we come off the strings. So when you play an arpeggio, ultimately it should look like this. one of the most important things to remember when playing arpeggios is that you want them to be nice and smooth and even, which can be kind of tricky because you're playing the notes so quickly that it tends to get uneven in your rhythm. One of the most helpful ways to practice this for me has been to practice sections first by playing them in blocked chords, which means actually that I'm not playing arpeggios at first, I'm just playing chords. Let me illustrate that for you by playing the first few chords of the Waltz of the Flowers Cadenza just as blocked chords, like this. that way until I was confident that I knew exactly where my hands needed to land on the strings. Then after that I would start playing the arpeggios very slowly so that I could listen and make sure that my rhythm was even, like this. to use a metronome to make sure you're staying right on the beat. After you're confident playing it at that speed, you can gradually get faster and faster, but make sure that you stay even as you do until you end up with a beautiful flowing piece of music like this. So 
there you go. Now you have all the tools you need to play beautiful arpeggios on the harp. Just remember to maintain that same basic hand position that we discussed and pay close attention to make sure your rhythm stays nice and even and you'll be well on your way to playing beautiful arpeggios in all your pieces. Hi everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like it and subscribe to my channel. Also, you can comment below about anything you'd like to learn about the harp and maybe your topic will be the subject of my next video. Until then, happy harp adventures!